Hello everyone. This is the video version of the Getting Started Guide for FIFA 21 Career Mode Cheat Table. Before we start I want to mention that the FIFA Cheat Table and FIFA Live Editor are two different tools. So, please keep that in mind as I see that many people keep thinking that's exactly the same and do exactly the same things which is not true. This is video about the Cheat Table. I'll show you how to download and install Cheat Engine and Cheat Table then how to run it, and at the end, how to uninstall it if needed. All links are in video description. If you need help with something, write on Discord server or comment under video. First of all, open the official Cheat Engine page. Then, click on the big button, Download Cheat Engine. Make sure you remember where you have downloaded it. I'll place it in my excluded folder which is invisible for my antivirus. Then double click on the downloaded file to start the installation process. Accept the agreement and pick the folder where you want to install Cheat Engine. I'll uncheck the additional tasks as I don't need them. Here the installer asks me if I want to install Opera. I recommend to press decline at this screen, as some programs may be harmful. If you don't have the decline button then close installer, turn off your internet and start again. As you can see, now. When I'm offline I'm not asked to install the Opera browser. After Cheat Engine is installed, run it, skip the session setup and skip tutorial. The second file we need is the FIFA 21 career mode cheat table. You can download it from my Patreon page or from GitHub. As you can see, on Patreon, access to some posts requires payment. I want to say that my cheat table for FIFA is free and always will remain free. People who support me with a small monthly donation got access to the latest version of the tool seven days earlier. For example this version was published on the 27th October and will be public 7 days later, on the 3rd November. To get it now, you will have to become a silver tier patron which is $3 per month. If you don't want to support me, or you don't have money or I don't know, you just want to try if it works. Scroll down a little bit until the first free post. This version of the cheat table was released more than 7 days ago, and it's already public. Click on the post to see the changes I made. You can also read comments. To download the cheat table click on the attached links. Content of both files is exactly the same. It's just your preference which one you want to use. I'll download both just to show you how to install it. Check the GitHub page if you can't download from Patreon. On the right, click on Releases and then click on the link to download. On the GitHub you can also find the changelog. Here I write what has been added in which version, so you can decide if it's worth it to get the version only for patrons or you don't need it and you can wait a few days. Now, let's install the cheat table. If you downloaded the zip use the WinRAR to unzip the content and that's all. To install the MSI version, double click on it. On the second step shows the installation folder. 
make sure you remember where you installed it. Then just press next to finish the installation process. Once you install the cheat table and cheat engine I'll show you how to run it. First run the game and enter main menu. After you enter main menu you can run the cheat table. There are at least three ways to run it. First, the most common I guess, is to just double click on the FIFA 21 set trainer file. If you don't have the cheat engine icon, and it doesn't work then it means, that you didn't install the cheat engine properly, I recommend to reinstall it. I get the warning, that the cheat engine version I use is not recommended, but it still should work. If not then download, and install the cheat engine 6.8.1, link in video description of course. When you got the read to use message you are good to go. I can activate anything I want, so it's working fine. Sometimes you may not see the description of the script or value. The fix for that is to just make the columns wider. The second way is to run the cheat engine. Then drag and drop the FIFA 21 set trainer file into it. The third way I know, is to run the cheat engine. Then from top bar, press file and load, control plus O. Find the FIFA 21 set trainer file and press open button. I also want to covert the most common mistakes. You can't move the files wherever you want. Keep the same structure. For example if I move the FIFA 21 set trainer file to desktop, and I'll try to run it I'll get error. When I move it back everything is fine again. The second most common mistake is running the file directly from the WinRAR. It won't work. You will get error. You need to unzip the archive. At the end of this video I want to show you, how to uninstall the cheat table. If you use the MSI installer simply open add, or remove programs in your windows. Then find the FIFA 21 cheat table and uninstall. If you use the zip then all you need to do, is delete the folder with cheat table. To complete the uninstallation process, open Documents, find FIFA 21 folder, inside FIFA 21 folder find Cheat Table folder, delete it. That's everything for today. Let me know in comments, if you want more video tutorials like that. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.